Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Gumroad account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add a product into your Gumroad account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add a new product into your Gumroad account? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you have other products that you want to offer your viewers, especially if you're an influencer, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process is handled here in your Gumroad account. You want to go to this website. It's app.gumroad.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. Once you go to that website, you do need to log into your Gumroad account. I've already logged in and this is the home page. Now, in order to create a new product in your Gumroad account, you need to click on this hamburger menu. It's going to be here on the top right, these three horizontal lines. Once you do that, you will see a drop down menu. And in order to add a product, like a digital product, go ahead and click on this line right here called products. It looks kind of like a little file box. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna see all the different products that you have inside your Gumroad account, but to create a new product, you wanna click on this pink new product button here on the top right. Okay, in order to add a new product into your Gumroad, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna need to fill out this form. So first you wanna go ahead and name your product. So we'll go ahead and click here and then we'll just put test ebook. All right, so once you've done that, then you wanna choose what type of product that you are adding into your Gumroad account. So they have these lists here, a digital product, course or tutorial, ebook, membership, physical good, and you can even bundle the products together if you wish to do so. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and choose digital product. And once you've done that, go ahead and scroll down and then you wanna choose the price that you're gonna be offering this for. So let's go ahead and just put this one at $49. Okay, so once you filled all of that out, what you wanna do is click on this pink button here on the top right called next customize. Okay, so you can see the top headliner has changed to test ebook, which is the name of our product. And what you can do is you can scroll down, you can go ahead and write a description. Okay, so I just wrote a small description description. Next, you can go ahead and customize the URL. So we'll just do forward slash ebook. You can set up a unique domain. You do need to purchase the domain. I'm not going to do that. Next, you can go ahead and upload the image cover. So this is what people are going to see when they click on your product through Gumroad. So let me go ahead and add an image. Okay, so I just went ahead and just uploaded a picture that I had on my phone. So that is the cover. You can go ahead and add a thumbnail as well. And that way, if someone's looking through your category of products in your Gumroad, they can see this one. And you want to scroll down. You want to set up a call to action. So on your order page, you can have I want this, buy this, or pay. I'll put buy this. And then you can go ahead and add a summary, what the person can expect when they buy your product on Gumroad. So we'll just put what they can expect, a cool book. Here you can go ahead and add more details if you wish to do so. So I'm not gonna do that. You can also connect your Discord or your circle community if you wish to do so, I'm not gonna do that. Here on the pricing down here, you can set up this kind of tip feature. So you can say it's gonna be $49 or whatever they wish to pay. For me, I'm gonna leave it at $49. Here you can offer different variations like a pro plan or a more in-depth version. And then down here, you see the settings. So you can limit the amount of products that you will sell. You can allow the customers to choose a quantity if they're gonna buy more than one, if that applies to your type of product. You can also display how many products and sales that you have. And then you can go ahead and add a refund policy and then also mark it as e-publication. That way your customer knows that that would apply or would not apply. So once you're all done with that, go ahead and click on save and continue here at the top. Okay, so here you can go ahead and type in your content that you are going to be selling, or you can just go ahead and include a link to where they can get that product or you can simply just upload the file. So for example, let me go ahead and add a photo in. Okay, so I went ahead and inserted an image. So the way I'm setting this up is whoever goes to my Gumroad account product and they wanna purchase, once they've made their payment, they will get access to this photo of me driving. So if you wanna add a document, you can add a document right there. You can add a download right here. So some sort of file, a Dropbox import. You can embed a video. You can add your computer files. Whatever it is that you wanna give them access to once they've paid that $49 or whatever the price is you set up. So now we're ready to go ahead and publish our product on Gumroad so that way we can start receiving purchases. But you need to click on this button here on the top, publish and continue for it to go live. Okay, now you're gonna see this page pop up. So you get this green confirmation up here saying that your product on Gumroad has now been published. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and share that link by clicking on here. And now the link is copied. So you can go ahead and post this into your social media or wherever you normally sell your digital products from Gumroad. If you need to change the product, you can go ahead and unpublish it and then make the edits as you would see fit. And then same thing, if you need the link, you can go ahead and just click here and copy the link just like we did down here. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to add a product into your Gumroad account, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below 
below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.